you end up, when you sleep in a passive house, when I slept in a passive house, you actually sleep really well. It's like the, the CO2 levels never get too high. Uh, you're, you don't get too hot at night. Everything's like a nice stable temperature. So uh, really like we, we build it to, to save energy and to be more durable and long lasting. But at the same time, the real like, benefit is that it's a really comfortable house to live in. In this video, we met up with owner builder Richard Price from Construction Le Tournesol, located in Rigo, Quebec, who has been building passive houses for 10 years and has recently partnered with Maison Bioclima to build Quebec's first exclusive passive house development. I'm Casey Gray, the founder of The Conscious Builder, and on this channel, we help you build and live more consciously. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. I wanna let you know that there is an easier way to market and sell your quality builds and go into conversations with clients confidently prepared to address the unique hurdles that we often face in this sector. We have a new course up for pre-sale in the Conscious Builder Academy called How to Market and Sell Passive Houses and Other High Performance Homes. Check out the Academy through the link below to get the exact strategy and tools and methods that I've developed over the last decade and the reasons why we have over $7.5 million of work locked in today, not including the open sales I have on the books right now. Right now, during the pre-sale, you can save over 87% on the course before it goes live on April 25th, so don't wait. And now, enjoy this video. We're currently building the model home in St. Beatrix in the Lanogere region of Quebec. The house is a single family house, 1,800 square feet, three bedroom home, which is gonna be certified passive house and lead platinum. The energy source will be electricity from Hydro Quebec, along with a geothermal ground loop inlet for preconditioning the incoming air. We'll also have a liquid to liquid heat pump. The wall assembly we're using is a hybrid double stud with Larson truss system. We start here on the inside with the structural frame of the house, which is a two by four frame on 16 inch centers. The primary air management layer, which is an Intello membrane, an OSB sheathing for our structural rigidity. We have a two by three wall, which is anchored to the structural wall to hold the OSB web stiffeners, which connect the second stud wall on the outside, wood fiber panel, WRB strapping, and this cavity here gets completely filled with dense pack cellulose at four to four and a half pounds per cubic foot. That way we have an excellent thermal bridge-free construction. The cellulose won't sag. You're going to have an excellent assembly for years and years to come. I love Hydro-Quebec. I love the fact that the major energy producer is, uh, is collectively owned. But at the same time, that cheap energy also holds us back from making more efficient choices in life because people aren't paying the true cost of the energy. It's heavily subsidized. So in Quebec, for instance, it's a bit over six cents per kilowatt hour for the first 40 kilowatts you consume in a day. Uh, which is incredibly cheap. And what that basically means is that people have a hard time wrapping their heads around the idea of paying a bit more for a more durable, more comfortable, more energy efficient home. So the good news is that the demand for passive houses in Quebec has been growing. It's been really great to be seeing how much interest there is from people. And mostly it's young couples, not exclusively, but a lot of young couples coming to us wanting to build their first homes, which is showing a real shift in tendencies. So people are trending away from the bigger, more ostentatious houses, and now they're trying to build to a rational scale to really fit their needs, but they wanna invest in a quality envelope and a quality house and something which they're gonna be happy to live in and stay in for years to come. So we have a 2,500 square foot shop. We're employing three carpenters plus myself. Our output is about one panel per day. A standard uh, single family home takes about 20 panels. 
So it's about one month to produce one house. Then add another week to do the floor panels and the roof trusses. So about five to six weeks to produce one home at the moment. Today we installed the Mento 1000, which is the WBRB, the exterior rain screen of the wall assembly. Then we added the strapping. Then we started insulating it, dense packing in the cellulose into the cavity. And then we tape up the cavities, seal everything off, and the panel is ready to be lifted off the framing table. It really gives you hope to see the, that this movement is really being driven by the next generation. And they really want to invest in their own spaces and build something which they want to stay in. And 10 years ago in Quebec, the big drive was to build as big as you could, as cheaply as you can. But I'm really happy to see it turn around. And that model home they are currently building will become the sales center, which they will be renting out to interested prospects. I think this is a fantastic idea because it's a challenge to sell something that needs to be experienced in order to really understand it. This community will have townhouses, duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes, so more options and flexibility for consumers. We plan to visit this project as it develops and if you enjoyed this video, you can check out this video on Prefab Net Zero Home from another builder we interviewed recently. I wish Richard and his team the best of luck on this development. And until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live.